Eater yesterday, by the way. And I'm a little concerned because he still hasn't gotten back to me. Let me actually go check my email right now. Um, he'd been prompt with me in the past in terms of getting back to me. So I'm a little worried. Like, he had always emailed me back within um, an hour whenever I'd emailed him in the past, and I haven't heard from him in over 24 hours. So. That coupled with the fact that his most recent video, he's not looking good. I don't mean that literally. I just mean he seems like he is having a bad time, let me put it that way. Um, maybe his kid was born. It's possible. It's possible. Um, but he hasn't mentioned anything about it, and he seems like the type that would bring it up. Um... His wife hasn't posted anything about it on Facebook or anything, so I don't know. But, either way, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, his newest video. I didn't hear back from Caitlin's Bennett's sister. I did email her as well, again, to set up a specific date. But, I'll let you know when that sort of comes together. Welcome, Patriots. Trump is winning. We are all winning. My question is, are you tired of winning? No, you're not tired of winning because Joe Biden is president. Am I right? Okay, what if I told you Joe Biden being president is us winning? I'm talking about Republicans, and no, it's not sarcastic. So Peter is now admitting that Biden is, in fact, president, which is kind of a big deal for him. This is good. The rest is not good. Yes, you heard me correctly. We want Joe Biden to be president. We should be praying to God in gratitude that Joe Biden is president. If you're a Republican, if you're a Christian, if you're a Trump supporter, you want Joe Biden to be president. I promise you this. Trump is ecstatic that Joe Biden is president because this was all part of the plan. The most crucial step that I could tell of the whole plan was actually Biden becoming president. And I'll tell you why. It has a lot to do with how unconventional it was in the way that Biden became president. That gave Trump more power than he ever had before. And because Joe Biden is president... See, this is where it gets interesting for me. Peter, and we've talked about this before, Peter's not having a good time because his QAnon beliefs make him have to, in some way, justify that Donald Trump isn't winning, right? Donald Trump lost the election, now he's just hanging around Mar-a-Lago like a weirdo, not doing anything productive, and now he's already going to start to hold rallies and talking about 2024, along with other stuff, because he's a grifter. But at this point, Peter's going to have to come up with crazier and crazier justifications for all of this and why reality isn't turning out the way that he said. So, get ready. Preston Stroop, thanks for following. President, now Trump can legally do all the justice that he wants. Deliver the hammer of justice, execute people, send people to Guantanamo Bay legally. Thanks to you so much, Joe Biden, for being president. I don't know what Peter means by this. He doesn't explain in this video what he means by this, why he thinks Joe Biden being president gives Donald Trump, who is not the president, the power to murder people and send people to prison. But he sure does claim it. Hi, Drake. Yeah, it's very, if you strike me down, I should become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I don't, I, it's not Obi-Wan. Razzle Tazzle says, speaking of hair, I took the advice you gave me ages ago about the curl activator and it's actually helping to fix my stupid curls that just love to tangle. You're the best. Oh, I'm glad that worked out for you. And Cool Cat says, oh, does he think Trump is like in real life Batman right now? <laughs> oh God, Trump Batman. That, uh, has anyone done that as a sketch yet? I think that'd be funny. Confused yet? Well, my name is Peter Hanna. This is Peter Sky High Politics, and if you see this from a higher perspective, the 10,000 feet view, 
looking down, you're gonna see the whole picture, which is- It's 10,000 feet up because it's a mental institution at the top of a skyscraper. Trump wanted Joe Biden to become president. It was crucial. Now let me explain why. If you're just watching news and you see that- Remember when Peter got butthurt about you calling him out for wanting people murdered? I do remember that. He threatened to sue me. <laughs> Your Honor, Exhibit Z. <laughs> that Joe Biden is present on TV. Most Republicans see that and do not feel good at all. Um, some of them just know he's a bad president. Others know he's a very bad president. And if you know he's a very bad president, how evil he is, then you are going to be panicked that Joe Biden is president. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. No, this was part of the plan. But if you're seeing it from the full view, which I believe I do have on um, what happened. Why does Peter think this? I can't wait to talk to him again. I have so many questions and so much material. I just, why does, Tr or why does, I was going to call him Trump. <laughs> why does Peter believe that he has inside information? I don't understand. This is a good thing. This is exactly what Trump wanted because please subscribe to my channel. I'm providing really good analysis of everything that's going on. And I think that you guys would really appreciate knowing what's really going on, what the news is not talking about. When Trump was inaugurated to become president, what is the smartest move strategically that a villain like Obama could do? Drone, drone strike, drone st strike a wedding. Pardon all the rats, pardon all of them. Because they knew Trump wanted to arrest. There's gonna be a lot of dehumanization of people he disagrees with politically in this video, just an FYI. This has strong, this is good for Bitcoin vibes. I know, he's really desperate in this video because Peter wants to be a positive person and he often is a positive person. What Positive from his perspective, obviously. He, this is a nightmare, horrifying thing he's talking about. But to him, it's positive. But he's trying so hard to hold on to that hopium and he can tell it's slipping away. Uh, Pulp Free Fiction says, I really hate it when Q people talk about uh, executing the majority of the country and act like they that legality matters. Do they think the hundreds of thousands of people they kill would care about being killed the right way? And Nick says, pardoning the rats? You mean like Trump? <laughs> people and execute people legally. So then Trump becomes president. Guess what? Legally speaking, he can't execute. He can't deliver justice he can't send to jail he can't i don't even understand peter in what situation do you think trump has the power to execute people as a citizen but doesn't have it as president i don't understand the internal model of the world you're working on i don't understand at all arrest all these criminals probably thousands and thousands Remember, pardons don't have to be public. They're not required to be public. So behind the scenes, Trump I think became that's president. Debatable. He had all this I thought pocket pardons had never been uh, tested by the car courts. Let me look this up. Yeah, see, like this person says, this is an opinion. If Trump issued secret pardons, they won't work. Um, so there's this idea of the pocket pardon which is a theoretical legal concept where some people claim that if the president were to pardon someone while president and just not tell anyone about it and not actually file anything as long as they claimed it during their presidency, that they could then later reveal that if they felt the need to. Um, this has never actually happened or been tested by the courts, so I, I don't think it would happen, but who knows. Power, but... Obama pardoned everyone. So now what does he do? The smartest counter move strategically, remember. The only thing Trump is executing is a double baconator. Count moves and counter moves, moves and counter moves. It's for Trump to set up a trap that doesn't do a lot of damage or does minimum amount of damage as possible. A trap to catch all the swamp creatures, all the rats. And he did and they fell for it. And now game over. That's what's going on. 
Now, if you wanna understand the full logic of everything that's going on in more detail, the Rumble version of this video, I sh Last time I checked, the Rumble version of this video did not exist yet. Let me see if he ever uploaded it. Nope, he still hasn't uploaded this version of his video, so we don't get to know, I guess. Sorry. Check in the description below. You'll be able to understand what I'm saying completely uncensored. So, I'll give you a hint on why this is a good, good thing. What's about to happen? June 14th, Flag Day. Trump's birthday. The Arizona oddity will be complete. Which means... All the ballets have been counted. And this will be the election results by a forensic audit. We're gonna hear what is the truth. So on Trump's birthday, his birthday present is gonna be the news of what's happening in Arizona, which we all know what that is. So this is extremely exciting. Arizona oddity in ballets. He's, he's trying to get around the detection from the algorithm of him saying audit and ballots. Daddy Sume says, I marathoned WandaVision. It was exactly what I predicted. There were some twists, but in the end, it was fairly predictable. It was quite fun, thanks to the recommendation. Yeah, check out Loki. Only one episode out so far, but it's good. Random Invite says, oh, look, a new date for the truth. Anyways, have bits for being cool. Thanks. This is the first domino that's really going to start steamrolling. June 14th is when the big, big domino goes down. First big domino that's going to knock it all down. Then, as Sidney Powell said, we can set a new inauguration date. It should be that he can simply be reinstated, that a new inauguration date is set. That's literally not how it works, Peter. Peter, the Constitution explicitly spells out the day of the inauguration. You can't just make up a new one unless you amend the Constitution. That's not how this works. If there were any sort of illegal, like, anything that happened, which it didn't, in my opinion, but Peter thinks it did. So let's do the hypothetical. Let's say Biden was f thought to be guilty of something. Then he would be put on, uh, 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 he would be impeached by the House removed by the senate although i doubt it at this point because impeachment trump proved that impeachment is basically impossible and it's just never going to happen or rather sorry not impeachment impeachment does happen it happened to trump twice it happened to bill clinton he was impeached he wasn't removed from office being removed from office is basically impossible as we learned from the trump situation but let's say that biden was in that situation he gets removed then Kamala Harris becomes the president because she's the vice president. Let's say she was implicated and also, then she would be removed. Then I believe the Speaker of the House, who is Nancy Pelosi, becomes the president. There's a chain of command, and Donald Trump is nowhere in the chain of command. That's not how this works. So this is great, but hold on. Maybe you're doubting me. Maybe you think this is a crazy conspiracy. Yeah. Nick says, did Peter get a fortune cookie saying you'll find true love on Flag Day? Let me provide some evidence. So, what's my evidence? Pay attention to a... So, prize, his evidence is going to be Trump said a thing. Which is not evidence. It's a claim. Trump's been saying he's revealed this plan to everyone already. Why believe that this is part of plan and Trump will be president soon? Because he told us this is going according to plan and that he'll be president soon. He told us. Listen to these words. These are just 12 of over 100 positive statements he said very recently, even after the whole election. Listen carefully. Stay with me. God, he sounds so desperate. He wants so badly to believe the things he's saying. It's palpable. Deplorables. You'll love how this movie ends. These are all statements that Trump said word for word. Our brightest days are just ahead. The best is yet to come. We are winning. We will win. We will win and we will win big. Ultimately, we will win. I know that was four that sounded similar, but the point is he's talking over and over and over and over again about how we're winning, winning, winning. That would be a huge hint that this is all part of the plan. We're still on that winning streak. No matter what it looks like, you're about to find out that we're still on that winning streak. One more evidence. Trump said he'll be president soon, guys. Listen. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support you've shown 
We're going to take back the Senate, take back the House. We're going to take back the White House. And sooner than you think, it's... Yeah, Trump smells his own farts and he's bought his own bullshit. And I think he's heard other QAnon people talking about the whole August thing. And now he believes it for some reason. That doesn't make it true. Donald Trump is a narcissist. He's wrong, Peter. He's just wrong. Remember how Trump also said he would win the election? And then he said, oh, we're going to take this stuff to the Supreme Court and we're going to win, and then they lost? Trump is wrong a lot of the time. Towing24 says daddy's not gone. He's just getting cigarettes any day now. I'm going to grab a hair tie real quick. Oh, that feels better. It's going to be really something special, but the love and the affection and the respect that you've given all of us, it's really important. The Republican Party is stronger than it's ever been, and it's going to be a lot stronger than it is right now. We're gonna turn it around, we're gonna turn it around fast. Thank you all very much. That support has been so incredible. Thank you. Trump said, before 2022, something has to be done. A lot of great things are happening. I caught the swamp. I caught them all. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that is the creepiest look. Look, hold on. Next time, I caught them all. Let's see what happens. This is what's known in um, the biz as the Stanley Kubrick shot. <laughs> what's it called? The Kubrick stare. <laughs> That's what this has become known as. It's, it's to tell you that the character is, is crazy and Peter is straight up doing it IRL, which isn't great. Look at that. Look at that look. That's horrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. And I need to save this for the thumbnail. Print screen. Because that's some good shit. Hold on. Let me save this. All work and no play makes Q a dull boy. That is a scary look, Peter. Please stop. Next time I'm in the White House, we're going to take back the White House. And sooner than you think. <laughs> if nothing happens on Flag Day, Peter's going to turn his family into a skin suit. <laughs> One Speedy Yoshi says, so here's what I'll never understand. If this is all a movie, why are people actively being hurt and stuff like he said? Wouldn't that make Trump bad to let us live out a few bad months just to see how it is? Like if you're a parent, you don't just let your kid do bad stuff for a few months. You make them stop right away so they don't get hurt or die. Like Peter thinks is happening. Yeah, it's, it's completely bonkers. Looney Tunes theme. <laughs> These are all statements Trump has made. No in TV fact, and no beer makes Peter recently. something Check something. We're going to take back the White House and sooner than you think, it's going to be really something special. So what do we know? If you take a look at these statements, what we know is that we're still winning. <laughs> what we know is that something big will happen this year. Trump's basically told us at this point. What is it? He's taking back the White House sooner than we think. 
Many people think it's 2024, wrong. Some people think 2022, wrong. This year, remember he said Okay, some... I'm gonna remember that you said 2022 is wrong, Peter. I'll remember that. Why do I get the feeling that we're gonna be here in another year and Peter's gonna be making the same claims? Something has to be done this year, before 2022. So, Prizia says it's become known as the Kubrick stare, but the original Psycho was an earlier use of it. Yeah, Norman Bates. Spike in the lens at the end. Or mother, rather. Daddy Sume with a link. Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Things are going exactly as planned. And we're going to find out, and we're going to see that more and more every day. There's a reason Trump said... We're winning, we're winning, we're winning. Our brightest days are just ahead. I caught the swamp. I'm going to be in the White House soon. Come on, guys. It because he's conning you. You're a mark. Hydrate. Okay. I don't think it could be more clear. I know there's the brain brainwashing machines out there, the fake news that you even exposed to it. You start to think that Republicans are losing. Remember, these are brainwashing programs, brainwashing. I know it seems like everything's going badly for Republicans, guys, but trust me, we're winning. Cool, Peter. Cool. The Q brick stare. Oh, that's pretty good. He'll make the same claims, but you will have breasts. <laughs> that will be better. Good for you. I find that my um um uh body that i'm more comfortable with makes dealing with crazy people a lot easier too washing machines stay away from tv cable all the fake news and just pay attention to the great awakening if you do that you'll see that we are winning and winning and winning and winning and winning i'm not tired of winning yet but i sure am enjoying the winning but i think soon we'll be winning so much i might just get tired of all this winning guys we have it in the bag. Everything's going exactly as planned. The boob club is fun, but it comes with down. Today I went and I, I had to take Cassie to the vet. She's okay. It was just a follow up um, visit from something that she had had been put on antibiotics for, like a month ago or something. She's good. Um, but my AC in my car is out of refrigerant, so it, it's blowing hot air, and it's hot out today. It was like 86 or something. So I was just wearing a t-shirt, and I'm going to be honest, I wasn't wearing a bra because I wasn't leaving the car or anything. I just sat in the car the whole time because that's what the vet is doing now because of COVID. Um, but, like, I legit had... I, I, I'm wearing a different shirt because uh, I took a shower, but I had full-on boob sweat stains <laughs> all across my t-shirt that I was wearing. It was bad. One Speedy Yoshi says, it's hot out today. You're wearing a t-shirt. Hot girl summer. Let's go. Uh, Tucker White says, Peter's right. Um, but for the wrong reasons, the media does make it look like the Republicans are losing, despite the fact that it's literally taking either the House or the Senate in 2022, because there's virtually no real difference between the GOP and the Democratic Party now. I can't agree with the last statement. I don't agree with the Democratic Party and how it works, but calling it the exact same as the GOP or virtually identical is way too far and untrue bardlock moses says laughs in floridian uh jamie lynn turner says i think that all the pot he's doing is making him eat too much she's ah, i don't want it i'm not gonna say that one speedy yoshi says if i ever have boobs i want them to be like miss chalk sun dick from oh miss Ch miss chokes on dick from south park gotcha Daddy Sume says, winning also good for you, Hannah. Boob sweat stains are the next step on your journey into womanhood. Welcome to the family. Are you bipolar? I'm bi winning. Winner, winner, winner. Winner, winner, winner. Absolute victory. God, what is Charlie Sheen up to? Is he still a thing? We want Joe Biden to be president. I pre- The differences are nothing more than political footballs at best and distractions from anything important at worst. Ah, yes, because the Republicans trying to dismantle democracy is clearly the same as uh, 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 Democrats just being corporatist hacks. Exactly the same thing. Big brain move. What an enlightened centrist. Appreciate that Biden fell into the trap and became president because this was a big sting operation to trap all the rat creatures, 
all the swamp, and now... Again, he's talking about human beings that he wants killed by the government. Razzle Tazzle says, the boob sweat sucks, but that feeling when you lift your boobs up and release the heat, 12 out of 10. They have to get the death penalty, which was, for most of them, their original sentence. Committing treason, penalty is death. And mo Is it you or are the Republicans starting to get crazy? Starting. <laughs> most of these rats deserve the death penalty, so he caught them in a trap. Oh, uh, I think in light of all of the things going- This is a clip from around the time, I think this was the first, um, uh, uh, impeachment. Going on, and you know what I mean by that. The fake news, the Comeys of the world. Yeah, this is from the first impeachment. All of the bad things that went on. It's called the swamp, and you know what happened, and you know what I did? A big favor. I caught the swamp. I caught them all. Let's see what happens. Nobody else could have done that but me. I caught all of this corruption that was going on, and nobody else could have done it. This wasn't a normal election. Remember we were told that? Not just another election. This was the one to catch all the rats. And now... Sky Comet Fallen says, this is Peter. Just a flesh wound. I definitely can't play this clip. <laughs> But I get it. If Trump does everything right, and hopefully he does, he will be able to become president soon. And now they commit all these crimes of treason. He can arrest them, give them the prison sentences, and execute them if that's what the law says. If that's what, you know, they have to do this it you know, legally through the it court. It doesn't there's gonna say be that. Squads, there's going to be hangings. A lot of this is going to be public. So I'm very excited. I very appreciate all the rats. Again, being... his coping mechanism and his hopium is imagining his political enemies being murdered in the streets. Pyromancer says, Peter saying if and not when there is telling. Dumb enough to fall for the election. As Lynn Wood says, if you think Trump is going to let them get away with this, you don't know the military you don't know Donald Trump. These are geniuses. And whether you want to believe it or not, they are working with a benevolent group of extraterrestrial geniuses known as Majestic 12. And they're the real masterminds behind this whole strategy. And they're slaying it. They're winning so much. And you'll start to see how this is all part of the plan very soon. So be excited, guys. Now, you might be thinking... I like how casually he's slipping in the alien stuff now without even explaining it. I genuinely... Is there anyone here who... Maybe this is your first time here and you don't know anything about Peter and you didn't know the aliens thing until he just said it? That's so funny that he's just like slipping it in now. <laughs> E-Tune says, I fell asleep in the middle of the Ben Shapiro segment. What did you miss? Um, Peter having a bad time. Who's the mastermind? M12 or Trump? Uh, he's kind of going by, back and forth on that. They said they were Trump's handlers, but he's also acting like Trump is in charge, so I don't know. Exactly why is this all good? Why is it good that Biden's president? Well, the way that Biden became president was very unconventional. This is not... By winning the most votes ever? I know, that is unconventional. Tucker White says, Ah, yes, Trump the genius who couldn't remember the words to America's theme song. You know, the thing we are all forced to stand up and recite in school every day. Razzle Tazzle. Uh, when did I miss that Trump is an alien? No, Trump isn't an alien. He's working with the aliens. <laughs> Get your facts straight. Not a normal way to become president. And because of that way, that opens it up so that now... The election was a big trap, and now there is so much power for Trump when he be That's not how anything works. Mike Mack says, Majestic 12 are inept as the Illuminati. I guess so. ...come president to legally arrest all these people for the crimes. Because, think about it. If Obama pardoned them, and Trump needed them to commit some crimes to get the same sentence they would have got originally, what do you do? Unconventional, he won the popular vote? You know, for Republicans, that is unconventional. So, Daddy Sume says, at least the Illuminati existed as an organization at some point. <laughs> Did they? A trap. So, speaking from that perspective, it's clear that 
We wanted the election to go exactly as it went, and it did. And now when Trump becomes president... It's not what you've been saying the last year or whatever, Peter, but okay, change your narrative now. That's fine. Justice will be served to all of these criminals. Guys, we have this in the bag. Everything's going perfectly according to plan. Trump's birthday is going to kick this all off. We are going to have a... It's in four days. Hold on, what date's that? Oh, good. It's the day after the Bethesda E3 sh showcase. I wanted to make sure that happened before the bloody coup. I want to see Starfield. The last. Enjoy it. And get involved. Do I think Peter will ever go full day of the rope? Maybe. There's lots of guns in his house. He says he's not that into guns. I imagine he knows how to use them, though. Pyromancer says that to watch a TV series about two inept secret organizations fighting each other. Uh, Blackwing Hecty says, Who does he think Obama pardoned? I might have a stupidity induced stroke. He thinks that basically all Democrats, that he thinks they're Satanists. Oh, because this is the biggest battle in all of human history. We have a role, God and Trump and General Flynn and everyone who's good has been asked as a step up, get involved in the fight donate share videos wake people up you know use memes as ammunition red pill everyone we are in the middle of the great awakening and we're saving the world with trump and we're on a winning streak join the winning team help us you want to be able to tell people that when trump tried saving the world he succeeded and i was one of those people that helped him we are all patriots you know what i'm on board peter tell me what i gotta do tell, tell me how to weaponize memes is peter a pizzagate believer i'd be shocked if he wasn't andrew Batella says uh not that into guns doesn't mean much considering he's in a literal gun cult hey don't bring that up he doesn't want to talk about it uh tater Man Mill says, just jumped in. You look beautiful with your hair up. Oh, thank you. Patriots, we're all doing this together. We're all winning. And I, now that I understand the plan well, I so appreciate that Biden is president. These people are stupid and they fell for the trap. And now they are going to get in big, big trouble when Trump comes back. Everyone, hope you enjoyed the show i hope this provides a bigger perspective a higher perspective that's what peter sky high politics is about providing you the bigger picture so you can see more clearly what's really going on what's really going on what's really going on is that things are still going perfectly according to plan that's what's really going on when you're looking at it from a higher perspective and putting a whole bunch of information together so that you can see a clear picture of what's going on we are winning 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 so Enjoy the day, have fun, relax, support the patriots that are fighting in any way you can, money, time, just talking to people, getting involved, and together we're going to continue winning and we're going to have major victories this year. I'm so excited. I'm so You're going to have major victories. I thought you were already winning, Peter. I thought you were so sick of winning. So excited. All right, everyone. Enjoy. As everybody knows. Oh, this is creepy. This end video is the creepiest shit. Check this out. There's even like ominous music that they put over this. My family, our great country, and your president have been put through a terrible ordeal by some very dishonest and corrupt people. They have done everything possible to destroy us and by so doing, very badly hurt our nation. They know what they are doing is wrong, but they put themselves far ahead of our great country. Weeks ago and again yesterday, courageous Republican politicians and leaders had the wisdom, fortitude, and strength to do what everyone knows was right i don't like people who use their faith as justification 
for doing what they know is wrong. Nor do I like people who say, I pray for you, when they know that that's not so. So many people have been hurt. But we can't let that go on. That's horrifying. Why would Peter play creepy video with music making Donald Trump sound even more like a fascist? So strange. So Peter's doing very, very badly, and I'm concerned for the safety of his family and himself. 